Hey guys, what's going on? Back with another zombies video, and this is going to be a super, super quick uh, zombies video, and it's from an old game or one of the older games now, Infinite Warfare. And I'll be honest up front, I didn't really play Infinite Warfare uh, during its life cycle. I was probably off playing uh, Zombie Chronicles or Black Ops 3, maybe even Fortnite, not exactly sure back then. Maybe some basketball, so I kind of missed like the hype train or whatever when Infinite Warfare was in its prime. Uh, so recently I've been going back playing some of the older games, some of the older maps from different Zombies games. So I jumped into Infinite Warfare. I saw two quick Easter eggs and like I mentioned before, they're visual Easter eggs and a lot of content creators, YouTubers aren't really great at looking at or seeing um, what I would call like dev Easter eggs or visual Easter eggs. Um, because you have to be at a certain age, you have to know the movie reference or the reference or uh, what it's hinting at. So I'm just going to show you two quick ones. Again, they're not canon. They're, they're not into the whole Willow Wilder story, I don't believe. Um, nothing really too important, I guess, in the storyline. But I'm just going to show you. And like I mentioned before, if I come across Easter eggs that... I see in the older maps because, uh, like I said, I didn't play it when it was popular or when it was in its prime or life cycle. I'll just show you guys real quick. Like I said, I'm not going to try and sell you with the whole big backstory or clickbait, making it sound like this big extravagant Easter egg. It's just some fun little dev um, visual Easter eggs and, and stuff like that, or references to, to different things or paying homage to different things. So, the first one, really quickly, um, like I said, it's it is actually kind of uh, in a couple of the zombie lores, but if you look at the score icon, this is because uh, it's for kills, headshots, revives, and downs. Uh, there could be other Easter eggs for those, but I'm just going to talk about this one uh, for now. If you see the guy holding up what looks like a shotgun over his head, that's actually a reference uh, to the Evil Dead. I think Evil Dead Three specifically, where it's in medieval times. And what happens is back then they were using like um, bow and arrows and swords and, and stuff like that and rocks, <laughs> I guess. And he, I guess, tel gets teleported into medieval times, what, like the 1500s or 1400s or something like that. And when he gets teleported, he brings a shotgun, which is invented to like maybe 400 years later. So um, it's kind of a funny scene. It's the opening scene, I believe. Uh, the movie opens with him. In medieval times with a shotgun and he shoots one of the guys I guess that was maybe trying to hurt somebody or bullying somebody so he ends up shooting them or ends up shooting the shotgun in the sky just to get people's attention so um, Evil Dead is a kind of iconic um, scene or movie and zombie lords it's actually in Black Ops 2 um, Misty says a couple scenes from um, the Evil Dead and then also uh, there's that uh, cottage, I think, in Black Ops 2, and uh, that's just kind of them referencing that movie. Again, nothing too spectacular. He did also act in um, Advanced Warfare. He was one of the, I think, antagonists in Advanced Warfare. I uh, don't think he was one of the players that we play as. I think he was actually the bad guy for Atlas Corporation, um, but it, he doesn't use his name, not that I think, because his name is Ash Williams in the movie, so it could tie in to the whole zombies lore, could be an easter egg within that, I don't know if there's going to be anything in the future, maybe he'll play in another zombies crew, who knows, but for now I'm just going to say it's a movie easter egg, and it's nothing too um, extravagant, I guess. Or important of an Easter egg so that's a quick one again that's an iconic scene once you see that now in other movies or games you'll know that that's a reference to the Evil Dead in this scene um, and he calls it the boomstick his shotgun is a boomstick so that's that one next one is the up and Adams uh, perk machine if you look at the icon you might not know any any references or any meaning to it uh, except for the atom bomb nuclear symbol but that's actually a reference to the motion picture association the NPA uh, of America 
and they're the ones that pretty much monitor all the movies that are made and give it the rating system that it has, like rated PG, G, rated R, I think rated M for mature and stuff like that. So that's a reference to that because the whole um, theme for IW Zombies is movies. So that's uh, a really another quick visual Easter egg. So you either know the reference or recognize it or you don't. Uh, again, they actually are the ones that rate the movies. So when you go to the movies, uh, you'll probably see their icons or recognize it now that it's a um, um, MPAA or Motion Picture Association of America. And this is just the MPA because I guess the MPA is in other countries, but this one specifically is um, Motion Picture Association of America or FilmRatings.com. So you'll probably notice it now when you play the game or you go see a movie, you'll know who they are. Again, you either know this stuff either because of your age or or whatever. Um, but like I said, these are just two quick Easter eggs. Uh, nothing spectacular. Maybe the Evil Dead one's going to play out of importance maybe down the road. Um, but for now, I'm just going to say it's a fun little Easter egg. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll see you guys later.